Welcome to my life, a journey at 35,000 feet above ground level, flying through time zones and creating stories. The life of being an A330 long haul pilot. Flying the A330 twin engine wide body jet airliner is no small task. It involves thorough preparation, immense concentration and an unwavering commitment to safety. Every flight is a new challenge. We've got different weather, different airport, different crew. So we've got constantly changing factors. The responsibility on our shoulders is enormous. And after all, we're tasked with carrying hundreds of passengers. Life as an A330 pilot requires an understanding of aircraft systems, excellent decision-making skills and the ability to handle pressure. While the skies might be our second home, every pilot has a life on the ground as well. Juggling between long-haul flights, jet lag and a personal life can be a challenging act. And our schedules are constantly changing. So, for example, this month I had uh, Orlando from the 2nd till the 5th. Then I went home, got a couple of days off. Now I'm in Vegas right now and I've got three nights here. So basically I'm staying here from the 13th, wait, gotta open the door, 13th till the 17th. And then I've got a couple of days off again at home and one more flight to Mombasa from the 22nd till the 25th. So that's my schedule from uh, June. So one week I could be in Vegas, the other week I could be in Namibia. And that can take such a big toll on your body and mind. But at the same time, it's really important to take care of your health, engage with your loved ones and do activities for your body. For me, that's golfing, for example. Little tip right there, if you have no clue what you should do, try everything out. For some people, it may be painting, it may be learning an instrument, but for me, it's just golfing, because at that point, I can, when I play golf, I can just totally relax my mind and just enjoy the round of golf. So I would say, go search for something that just completely relaxes you and you can totally focus on that thing at that moment without thinking about anything else. So my schedule can be quite erratic from time to time and that's why I would recommend everyone to get one hour of physical workout in there every day. It may be a quick run around the hotel room for example, but around the hotel room, yeah for Sky, you, you run around the hotel room, that would look weird, huh? I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Um, so basically, get one hour of physical activity in, it may be a quick swim in the pool, a quick run around the hotel or just do basic workout in your hotel room. But that workout helps me manage the mental strain of the job. Equally important is to do activities that keep your mind sharp. For some people it may be painting, for others it may be reading, some maybe even pick up an instrument like a set. But the good thing about those activities is they keep your mind sharp and create or provide a creative outlet. So it's not always sunshine and tailwinds. Being an A330 airline long haul pilot also means missing out on pivotal moments in life like anniversaries, birthdays, weddings, where you just wish to be at home instead of at all those beautiful destinations. Let's check out the here. Done? Done. But the good thing is, we're not living in the 80s anymore. We've got that thing called modern technology. Those ones. And they really help you breach that distance and get and stay connected with your loved ones. For example, I could be having breakfast. Not only could, I, I, I had breakfast. It's, 10, uh, it's 15 past 10 here in Vegas. And my girlfriend is at a gym right now and having dinner afterwards. And then there's that huge thing called time zones. I'm in Vegas right now, so we've got the nine hour time difference to Germany, which is huge. And sometimes you would love to call your loved ones, but it's just not possible because they're sleeping, they're working, so you can't reach them. And those times, especially for me, because I'm a really social person and I love to see my friends regularly and my girlfriend, obviously, or call my parents, but it's just not possible. And those times, long haul flying can be quite challenging but for me it really helps to get those physical exercises in those times because it just frees up my mind do the one hour of swimming do the one hour of fitness and trust me that that really helps and just give them a call afterwards or the next morning ow However, there's a big upside to this job, which is exploring all those beautiful places and experiencing all those different cultures. 
And I like to bring home those experiences to my loved ones by, for example, in every city I go or at every sightseeing place I go, I go into a souvenir shop and I buy something for my parents, for my girlfriend, for my sister, whatever, for all my loved ones, basically. And that's my way of basically sharing all my experiences, especially my mom. She loves those fridge magnets. And basically every city I buy one for her and she stacks out the whole fridge with those magnets. Basically, there's no fridge anymore, just magnets. But I'm so proud to uh, give her all those magnets and she's proud of me visiting all those places. So that's my way of basically returning all those experiences. Communication plays a critical role in maintaining a relationship when you're frequently away. Regularly checking in with your loved ones and telling them about your experiences, about your day, can help nurture your relationship despite all the physical distance. So no matter where I am in the world, I make it a point to video call my parents, my girlfriend, at least once a day, take time for it. And that's my way of still staying connected so that I can be part of their day and they can be part of my day, which I think is really, really important. So to say, the life of an airline pilot is a balancing act between the exhilarating heights of the sky and the grounding reality of your personal life. It's a life of missed moments, but also of unique stories. But I would say the most important thing is, it's a life where I'm pursuing my passion. And I would say that's the most important thing. With that said, peace. Have a good one. See you in the next one.